My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Division 2. But more specifically, we're going to be talking about controller settings for PvP and Dark Zone. Now, a lot of people have hit in-game and they're on that grind, whether it comes to trying to get your conflict level up, trying to get your Dark Zone levels up, or just trying to get nice and tons of juicy loot in the Dark Zone and other places. So, what you guys really want is something to where you're going to be... Uh, available and able to make sure that you guys are at the highest advantage that you guys can possibly be when it comes to you know the other players in the game like you always want to be a step ahead of them and i really feel like these settings are kind of like that because a lot of people will stick to default settings on this game uh based on the fact that you know it's you know if you have, if you're new to the game which there are tons of new players and things like that then a lot of players have just stuck consistently to that but you can't really do that in this game because the movement in this game is kind of weird. I don't know if I'm the only person that thinks that, but the movement in this game is really weird, and it's got like a, a whole different method to it, in my personal opinion. Um, so, being able to move around, look around, being able to aim while other people are, you know, flipping and rolling around. This is that; those are very big things for me, and I noticed myself that I was having a hard time with that, so I had to tweak my settings a little bit. And uh, this being a PvP game, I thought you guys would love to see um, actual controller settings and things like that. Now, this is only for controllers because I don't have a PC and I don't play it uh, on PC. But, um, yeah, so if you're on PC, this probably won't help you guys out a lot. But these settings are pretty dope for a controller. And here we go. Let's get right into it. So, head down to our settings. 
And we're gonna, we don't really mess with any of the gameplay and audio stuff for real. I don't know. I just personally don't mind that type of things. I probably could fix my audio, but the maps are so small that I don't think I need to necessarily hear people. But yeah, that's just, yeah. Uh, I turned the parkour mode off. I, I dabbled with this, but I noticed that whenever I tried to go into certain covers, it would just literally throw me over them instead of helping me get behind them. And so it kind of created a problem for me. So I would recommend that stay off. Camera sensitivity, I recommend it stay on 18 because it's fast enough for you to have it um, to be able to look around and change targets very quickly if you need to. But it's not too fast to where you're kind of getting stuck and hitched and you're spinning around in circles. So, yes, I definitely recommend 18. Aim sensitivity, 20. I definitely feel like that's probably the best thing that you're going to be able to do here. Um, personally... I want the, the like the option to switch to the head. Doing headshot damage, no matter what weapon you have, because a lot of people will say, oh, the Vector is the best, custom P416, all of the, those things, they matter, but you have to get those critical hits. The critical hits are still very important. You can't just hit anywhere and still get the same kill time that you want. So you have to aim for the head, and this was the best way that I felt you were able to quickly adjust in most situations. Now, I turn my controller vibration off. I do that in every game. It might be personal personal preference it might be superstition but personally i just think that the controller vibration should be off i noticed a slight performance back in the day when i did it and now i've just done it i've just always had my controller vibration off so i can't really play with that play with it on because it messes with me all right we stuck to the default button layout the left stick dead zone on uh oh sorry messed up my control settings there you go, there you go. uh the um the, wait, where were we? The left dead zone size is three, and the right stick dead zone size is one. And this is because I don't like any type of drift. What dead zones are, if you guys don't know, uh, dead zones are the amount of like drift inside of your controller, whether it'll start like slightly moving on its own and things like that. That's why in a lot of games like you know Rainbow Six and others that actually have the option to turn this down, uh, you really want to. So I just I turn my right stick dead zone down to one, and I've noticed a very cool like improvement as to where I left it at default. Uh, I did this recently, and I've known quite a big of improvement to it. Everything else is pretty easy. Like it's just stayed default. I don't think I moved anything else around. Um, yeah, so that's all there is to it, guys. Hopefully, these guys, th these settings are gonna help you guys out. And I don't think that one. I don't think this is gonna turn you into a god. So if this is what you guys think, then I hope. I hope that's not what you guys think, <laughs> but it definitely will improve your gaming experience. I believe that this, these are some of the best settings that you could possibly be running right now due to the way the game is set up and, like I said, the movement inside the game. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. And if these settings helped you, make sure to come back in the comment section and tell me about it and, uh, you know, just give me a shout. That would be so appreciated. And thank you guys for checking out this video today. Like always, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my The Division 2 content. And with all that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.